Hello, this is Up to Snuff, and today we have The Ancient Magus Bride Season 2, but for a turn of events, it's actually a part one. There's going to be another core October 5th, but let's get into it. I do want to explain that you have to watch Season 1 before you watch Season 2, and I know that sounds obvious, but I know that there are some people who are always willing to skip. And you can't, because there's a lot of terminology and nuances that you will miss. Now, Chise, the main girl, is going to college. With that comes a lot of secondary characters that have good backstory, but we have to develop that over the first few episodes. Only until episode 9 or 10 do you actually get the serious lore, or the serious intensity that is to follow. And of course, we're going to build on that in October, but as for right now, I think it was a little bit lackluster. Now, as for the designs, really nice stuff. The eye is beautiful from the OP. Are you kidding me? But I do like that they added some chibi to it, some chibi artwork, because you needed to lighten the mood at least a little bit. It was a great choice because there are a lot of dark backgrounds as well as characters wearing a lot of dark clothing. So it all makes sense. I did think that there's a lot to piggyback off of season one, but they didn't do it enough. And that was something that I was really hoping for and something that I was really led on to believe will be a big part of this second season in order to make it even better than the first. Now, yes, given there are 12 more episodes to come, or at least that's how many I believe there will be. But as for right now, we got to go with the rating which is a B minus. It was a B to begin with. That was the first season. But I think overall, it kind of shifted to a B minus. But the second core could bring it back up to a B depending on how well it goes. And I'll see you next time.